Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan Redford. I'm 41 years old today and I have stage three seminoma cancer. I'm going to do these blogs as a journey. And if you wanna join me and follow, um, just to see what it's like and what I'm gonna go through, um, I thought it'd be nice to have some discussion about what it is and what it's like and um, just to give you a look into what treatment is like in 2021. But first, a little backstory. Um, in 2018, a couple of days after my first son was born, I found a lump on my right testicle. Um, and uh, a couple of days later, I was in a urologist office, test, testing, testing. And about 10 days after that, I was having surgery to have my right testicle removed. Pretty shocking as a 38 year old guy um, and with a first son newborn but it was in and out. Uh, I was cancer free a month after having discovered it. Did not have to go through chemotherapy or radiology or anything. So I didn't process it in the same way I am now. Um, two years of clear scans. And um, then this summer, I was having some strange abdomen pains and I almost went to the hospital in August, but kind of got over it, didn't have feelings anymore. But um, by, middle of September, the pains were back. And um, one day I just had a big old swollen left leg. Uh, it turned out to be a blood clot. I went to the emergency room. And what had happened is the tumor inside my sort of abdomen area had swollen and pinched the veins so that the blood couldn't come back to the heart. And it was clotting underneath that in the thigh and the ankle and the calf area. Um, good thing my wife took me that day to the emergency room because they said if I had let it go on much longer, it could have killed me. So, um, you know, being aware of what's going on in your body and what those feelings are is super important. Um, the blessing and the curse is that they were able to get the clot under control within a day in the emergency room with a heparin IV drip. But, um, with a CAT scan, they discovered that the tumor was the reason, uh, that they did it. Uh, that the, the blood clot happened. So um, that was about three weeks ago. So basically three years and a couple weeks after my first testicular cancer surgery, I was officially a recurrent testicular cancer patient. I got a biopsy while I was in the hospital, which is essentially a needle going through my back into my tumor, grabbing some samples, testing it in pathology. It was incredibly awkward. Um, moderately painful, but just awkward. I was in a really weird position and they had to dig in and, and get it. Um, but thank goodness they did. They found out the actual pathology was seminoma, which is the, the name for testicular cancer, basically. And um, now here we are, I'm one week away from starting chemotherapy. So that's the backstory. Um, I thought I'd sort of start the journey today after shaving my head today. Um, in preparation for the hair loss, I just kind of had this moment of, you know what, maybe maybe I should talk about this. Maybe I should share it. Maybe I should um, make something so that people could, you know, empathize and hear what I'm going through and, and just stay in touch. And, and honestly, I kind of want to progress like the journey. What is this going to do to me? Um, I've got some testing on Monday, a pulmonary function test, um, another ultrasound of my man parts, if you will, to make sure what's going on down there. Um, and uh, and Tuesday, I'm meeting with the oncologist uh, once again to uh, get the final diagnosis and treatment recommendation, but it's very likely going to be a two or three, I'm sorry, a three or four cycle, uh, cycles three weeks, a three or four cycle recommendation with either three or two drugs. If it's three drugs, it's a little harder on the body, but they knock it out faster, three cycles, which is nine weeks. Um, and if it's two drugs, it's four cycles, 12 weeks. Um, so I'm hoping that I qualify for the three cycle, three drug treatment so that they can really knock it out. I know it's gonna be harder on the body. I'm supposed to lose all my hair, my eyebrows, my eyelashes. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what it does to me. And maybe on this um, on this journey, you guys can figure it out with me. Um, so 
How am I feeling? Um, I've always been a guy who is optimistic and positive. Um, I think that goes a long way to making the situation better, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm, I'm scared. And, um, you know, I have a three-year-old and a, and a wife and life is just really been getting going for us. And, um, you know, like I've finally been able to be putting him to bed, like snuggling with him in bed. And now I won't be able to because of the chemo. Um, and that's hard. So, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of ups and downs emotionally, uh, for the first, uh, first couple of weeks for sure. And then I think the physical toll is going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, but I'm ready to tackle it. Um, my family and friends have been incredibly supportive and, and I believe deep down that, that God is going to protect me and help me through this. Um, so if you want to join and come along on the journey, then um, I guess follow me here and uh, I'm going to be posting videos as often as possible. It might be about 70 or 80 days of treatment and, uh, and videos. And I guess we'll see what, um, what transpires. So thanks for checking in and we'll talk to you soon.